What I find intriguing is that, uh, is that numerous credible pilots have seen these things, they've identified them on radar, they, they have uh, the, these visual encounters and they say it's a, it's a vehicle so, and it's something that moves way faster than, uh, and, you know, than any technology that's even close to what people have right now. And so, you know, Occam's razor that says the simplest explanation you might say is not aliens. But if there is incredibly amazing technology, and these things like go from zero to Mach, whatever, in, in no time, they turn on, on a dime, sorts of accelerations that would kill humans instantly. If that kind of technology is really being observed, then to me, Occam's razor seems to indicate, you know, well, maybe it's not that unlikely that it's, because, you know, if, if the technology exists and, and they're really observing these things, and they're way beyond what people have currently on the Earth. Then you have two, two questions. And one of them is, well, is there some sort of mysterious organization that has in, insanely advanced technology that we don't know about? That seems rather unlikely. Or is it the very unlikely you know, possibility that we're being visited by aliens? So I think if the technology really exists, then Occam's razor almost makes you go, well, maybe we are being visited. Uh, I don't think they're going to land on the White House lawn. You know, we're like a zoo, you know, like sh show up, but you know, be, be careful. See, uh, now it, here's, here's where uh, mainstream science uh, mostly agrees. We now know that, that there are planets around virtually every star and there are Earth-like planets orbiting, orbiting these stars and um, when I was in college, we, used, we didn't even know if there were planets around stars commonly. We suspected it probably, but, but um, nobody knew and it was, they're very hard to detect. But in recent years, in the last two decades or so, we've begun to detect planets orbiting other stars. And now we know that most, most stars have planets and that there are a lot of Earth-like planets. So, that seems to bring up, you know, in, increase one of the factors that we didn't know about before, which is, you know, how many, uh, um, how many intelligent civilizations would there be in a galaxy? And there, there's a, an equation called the Drake equation that you multiply all these factors together and then it predicts how many uh, intelligent uh, civilizations there are in the galaxy. One of the factors is how many stars have planets that are um, Earth-like. Now we know they're very common. In fact, the very closest star, uh, Proxima Centauri, the very closest star has an Earth-like planet, which is really cool. Um, so, uh, so yeah, most people, most scientists, I, at least the ones I know, would say chances are are enormous that there are that there's life on other on other worlds because there's countless countless worlds, just an immense number of worlds. Why would our world be the only one that has anything on it?